in and ask me questions, and they all ask me the same questions. And they meet me the next morning and ask me why I had different answers for different people. I mean, they compare the data. They, they work late at night after you leave the meetings to compare the data and see why you, you, you told things or shed different lights on the, on the same question. And I think you need to be yourself. You need to be comfortable with what you're presenting. Above all, you've got to know your information. But probably a little more so in Japan or in Europe because they'll test it a lot more. At the same time, Keep your cards close to your chest and decide what information will and will not be revealed. Otherwise, you might give away valuable intelligence. Uh, it's really important to have a cultural mentor uh, to give us some help. For example, in the American culture, we tend to talk back and forth, back and forth. But in Japan, it's not unusual to have lapses of maybe 20 or 30 seconds between the two people talking. Now, for a typical American, that's very uncomfortable. I think many uh, Japanese are purported to do this as, a, as part of their tactic. Just sit there in silence, waiting. And waiting in silence. And in so doing, we, we give away uh, information that we ordinarily would not because we're frustrated and uncomfortable with the gaps, with the silence. Thus, learn to be comfortable with silence rather than filling it with valuable details. If information is confidential, just say so. And emphasize asking questions rather than answering them. My advice to people in those situations often is to try and, in any business meeting, even in the first meeting, uh, when they say, tell us about your company, before they even get to that question, try and ask them about their company. Try and ask them about their experiences before you start sharing your experiences. That will help set the tone for the relationship. And also, if you're, if